up on a monitor so much but it's got the peacock and blue hurl and it is half strong but it can break so if you're gonna make feathers out of this make it stronger I was trying to be cheap not using a whole bunch in there also to make it cast better had some designed up with nothing to stop the aerodynamics was windmilling on me and a couple other things alrighty now if you tie your thread in there you can tie that up ow almost took my head off with that do this real fast you can imagine I already had the thread base on there Don't seal that off with super glue. If she's gonna move a little bit, get more thread wraps on there. And I didn't have the original base of super glue on there to begin with. Get a couple back on your hook shank either way. I almost gave up everything from this. It had me scratching my head with my foot, and you see in my videos, I don't have much hair left anyway. And took all that off. What you can do, if you want to help strengthen it up, you get something in there like some feathers. You can put just a little dab of some low melt on there. But she's not going to go too far. I'm still debating. I got to do some more testing this year when the ice breaks up to see if it's worth tying these up commercially but it's always worth it if you tie flies alrighty let me get rid of that and I don't have a well just another wasted hook yow yeah I'll tell you what we're gonna go down the wee little one I already got one Excuse me. I had some good hot grits and eggs for breakfast. And Show you how it does with this mylar one. What people call mylar, which is polyester. This would be a blue. Here again, I'm going to get them the way I want, and I'm going to go ahead and tie this one in first. A little too much up in there for that. For the smaller hook. Should have a little super glue, not much. Make sure it's wiped off, dried. And I know my hand's in the way with the light. I'm not even gonna worry about that thread right yet. Okay, I want my little hair straightener. I'm gonna try to miss that hook and get a little bit on there. I'm gonna turn it off right now. I'm going to unplug both once that cools just a little bit. I've had hot melt glue guns, I forget about them, and they get to melting up my plastic trays. These hair straighteners, I always think about safety. Probably should have been a little bit stronger hook. You can see these fibers hold in pretty good. Polyester does happen to bind in a little bit. and stays in a little stronger. Now I don't recommend you trying this stuff with too many other products because here again I'm not 100% it is a full polyester because you can change chemical formulations with one or two molecules and if I was a rocket scientist I wouldn't be doing this then you just add what you want. You can actually make two, three, four of those 
on a oh two odd hook. Got a box here, what's left of a thousand, and they're not one to come out. Big old mess. You can use that bass hook, whatever. Now, what you really want to do, though, after that, you got to have something to break up that wind resistance and pneumatic actions. Whether that would be tying on some more nuclear mission wing, making a little body for it with a big head. There's one little trick I ain't showed you, because this is going to be about my last. I got to get on to making money. As much as I love doing this, I got people wanting me to give them money. I think I don't have better things to do in my life. Than... But, these loops, when you put these on, make sure it's not too thick. There's that one right there. I'm going to change this one underneath. As I'll show you here. Let's use a little purple on there. You could use the blue, but it won't hold as good. You might have to pick your loop back up, put just a little super glue under there. You really, here again is this nuclear top secret. Nope. Ah, that glue had it unplugged too long. You can put that on there. Watch the videos that in nice and tight and I think I unplugged my heat gun my hot air gun yep okay I'll trim this off to here and when you get the heat in this you really don't have to cut that I cut it because it makes it look more like the common everyday fly patterns that are out Double check my heat gun, make sure it's at the right temperature. Don't overheat these. I'll turn this vise here this way just a little bit. I'm going to warm it up. I'm going to make sure I got my head color and belly color right there. Makes a nice big old chubby pattern. You can imagine if you got that on a big old size two hook, six hook, it holds a whole lot better. You might have to add a little bit more in the back here if you want to make longer ones. And as you can see with this, matter of fact, I even caught that hook with that thread right there. For this little one here, it would barely catch a fish. But if you used it, on a larger one you can make in theory as thick as you want you can even tie if you had a larger hook any kind of foam on that hook shank and cover it right up and you got a floater you can put your eyes up in there and you got a sinker and have fun tying and fishing catch some good fish I don't take pictures of them myself because the only thing I fish for is what I eat and they're usually looking too bloody. I do experiment a little bit with my patterns but if you fish long enough you know that anyway have fun. I'm tired of gabbing, I'm tired of tying, I gotta get on to a lot of data entry. Yeehaw!